And it's the third of five successive home games for Queen's Park Rangers in all competitions. They've lost the first two, now they need to find some form in front of their own fans at Loftus Road, where they've won just twice in the Championship all season. They were thumped 4-0 by Watford at Vicarage Road on the opening day, but historically this has been a favourable fixture for Rangers. They've won the previous three, and in their entire Football League history, their 51 wins against Watford is more than they've managed against any other opponents. The Hornets go in search of a first league double over the hoops in 18 years. I mean, Ishmael had that wonderful start to his Watford career, with the win when these clubs last met. At Vicarage Road, a difficult start to their season, bucking the recent trend. They'd had three different managers in each of the previous two seasons. The Watford board responded by backing Ishmael with a new contract despite those early struggles. They pushed on since then and they push forward here with Ryan Andrews in space. That's the bounce out with at the expense of the corner. High line here. Andrews was in behind it for a moment. And he acted well to reach it. Sinclair Armstrong. Support arriving, he does find himself outnumbered and was still able to get it away. Hayler could palm that only into the path of Ilya's chair, he couldn't quite react in time. was isolated. The goalkeeper was grateful for the presence of Ryan Andres to make this more difficult for Shea. Because Hamer had turned it back into trouble. So back on the way at Loftus Road. Watford a little more passive in that first period than that Valerian Ishmael would have wanted, I'm sure, and they've been dispossessed right from the restart here. Armstrong is in! And forces the save from Ben Hamer, who is equal to the test. And it was right at the end of the first half where Armstrong forced the save from Hamer with the game's first effort on target. This one effectively came right from the restart. Armstrong not hanging around. Cleared as far as Ryan Andrews. A spree. He will return it, and it's a good play by Asmir Begovic, took that confidently and releases it quickly and Willock is in and Armstrong was in space, it comes his way touch was heavy and Watford survive a huge scare this all came from Asmir Begovic collecting that in the manner that he did and getting huge distance on the throw didn't quite come cleanly for Sinclair Armstrong on either occasion, because there were a couple of chances for him in that same passage of play here. It's wider by Delhi Bashiru. Spreer, he's done really well, and he's still going. Rangers with pretty much everybody back. Watford will come again, Mateus Martins. Livermore, oh it's brilliant, it's a super strike from Jake Livermore to put the Hornets ahead in some style. Rangers just stood off him and invited him to take the shot on and Jake Livermore has scored his second goal for Watford since signing in the... Perfectly placed, it looked to be adding wide, but he bent it beautifully. And Watford score with their first effort on target of the game. And it had to be so precise. That's the game. And the long course as it stands Watford for a rare league double over Queen's Park Rangers, but a lot of work to do here as it comes for Colback. And he's put it wide with a clear sight of goal. To Jack Colback, it came from the throw, flicked on in his direction by Field. Certainly made something of it. Martin still under pressure, as are Watford collectively here, but they will be a threat on the counter attack. Delhi Bashiru does have plenty of support here. Jack Vitanza 
Reese Healy was with him, he's forced wider than he would have liked. But preserves possession for Watford, finds Mateus Martins. Real ebb and flow about the game now. Martins has done beautifully. And tried to two on up. Back out for Liverpool to have another hit! And he's done it again! 2-0 Watford! Two goals for Jake Livermore! And their playoff push back on track! He'd only scored once for the club before this afternoon. But two goals in the space of a few crucial second half minutes for Livermore might just have made all the difference today. Wondering just quite how they trail by two. Martins played his part, it was aimed in towards Espria, it was cleared only as far as Livermore. And again he does the rest from range. Able to take that touch to set it up. And the finish that followed hit with unerring accuracy once more. Begovic left rooted to the spot this time, unable to react as it came through a crowd of players. Again, a striker who scored as a substitute against Chesterfield last weekend in the Cup. Has eight goals in the Championship this season. Wasn't too far away. Plenty to try and pick out. It's a good ball. And it's turned in by Dykes as it needed to be. Hope restored for Queen's Park Rangers. Well worked this by Rangers down the right. Paul Smith able to provide the service, and it was a tap in in the end for Dykes. Smith hasn't been on long, but he's made the difference. He's made the goal for QPR. And Lyndon Dykes with that touch. Fourth straight start for James Morris at left back. And we will have Jamal Lewis fit again for competition. As soon as next week, we understand. But next week seems a long time away just now for Watford. And just getting ready to uh, launch this throw in from Smith, which was flicked on, hasn't yet been dealt with. Brilliant save by Hayward. Got down smartly to keep that out. That's a crucial contribution. And this is how close Rangers came at the other end through Dunn, through a posse of players, which made the save from Hamer even better. Dunn caught it sweetly enough. Both bosses really have been right through the gamut of emotions today on the touchline in the winter sunshine. Full time and a huge win for Watford, their first in four in the championship, pushing them to within a point of the playoff positions. Thanks to an unlikely double from Jake Livermore. Two strikes from range in the space of five second half minutes turning this game. Watford's way, but how they had to work to see it through as Rangers rallied and came so close to salvaging something. Only the second time in his long and distinguished career that Jake Livermore has ever scored twice in a game. Lyndon Dykes did get that goal back that provided the grandstand finish as Queen's Park Rangers threw everything they had at this, but Watford stood firm to survive scare after scare and claim the points. A return to winning ways for them, but for Queen's Park Rangers, seven without a victory now in the championship. Just one off the bottom of the table. They will feel hard done by, I'm sure, that they have ended empty-handed after a positive performance but again it has yielded no points it's Livermore who proves the match winner for Watford full-time at Loftus Road Queen's Park Rangers 1 Watford 2